Today, I'm going to go for a walk. And I'm not talking about hiking or commuting or exercise or walking the dog or a romantic walk on the forest road. No, and while these are all great in their own way, I'm going to go do something a little bit more in line with the mosey, a meander, a trot about, something solitary. It's called meditative adventure walking, and if you've never heard of it, well, it's because I just made up the term, but it lands somewhere between active meditation and exploratory, open scheduled adventure, and I love it, and I want to share it with you. But before we get started, I should probably introduce myself. Hi, I'm Steve Abbott. I like to practice meditation and mindfulness, but to be honest, I'm not always very good at being still. So I turn to things that help me focus my mind while moving, forms of active meditation like whittling or drawing, making music, taking pictures, running, biking, paddling. These are my focused, mindful places. But the one I practice more than any is the simple art of walking. Walking's very absorbing to me. I don't know, I just get lost in the motion of it. And I think it's just that because it's a perfect blend between intrigue and relaxation. Because there's the fresh air, there's the slowly changing scenery, and then there's also this curiosity about what's around the next corner. It just kind of keeps me going and going. On days off, I'll even set large chunks of time aside just for walking, so I don't have any time constraints. If I want to walk around for an hour, that's great. If I want to walk around for six hours, even better. And it gives me the chance to really follow my intuitions while I'm out and about, make all the little stops I want to make, and give myself real permission to slow down and be curious and explore my environment with a sense of play and, and having fun with it, instead of being more or less on a mission. I typically walk alone as well, and, and I think this is the other side of walking that's really important to me. It's the solitary component, but for me it's so important to have this space to be with my own thoughts and understand why I'm feeling a certain way and to brainstorm new ideas and come up with solutions to problems. And if I don't have the solitary time to just be with my own thoughts and limit all of the information that's coming in, I have a really hard time doing that. Amidst the lockdowns and isolation, the massive global slowing of pace that's happened this past year, I've still felt the pressure to work harder, faster, produce more, go, 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 just differently. More than ever, I've felt the need to give myself permission to pause and reflect. Walking has allowed me to do that. And I think walking is a perfect pace to explore a new area and connect with a place. It's not an action sport, but that doesn't mean it can't be adventurous. I really think adventure is a mindset more than anything. It's about adventuring out there to see new things or see things in new ways. And for me, it's just a super important part of getting to know an area, just getting out on foot and having a little adventure of it. With some sturdy footwear and the proper clothing layers, walking is a year-round activity that can be enjoyed pretty much anywhere, anytime. I just try to let my curiosity loose and follow my intuition. When I give myself permission to take my time and be creative, walking anywhere can become a fond memory. And I always find myself reaching for the camera or writing down ideas for a song or a new video I want to make. And I almost always find new branches to take home for carving. Sometimes I'll even bring food and snacks along if I know I'm going to be out for a while. And on the odd occasion, I even bring my little kettle and stove for a tea. Now that's obviously saved for longer days out. On a lot of times though, I'll just like to make sure my meandering route stops by a cafe. If I can leave you with one thing to try after you see this video, it's this. Get out for a walk today, even if it's just around your block. While you're out there, look at something and say, I wonder, and just see what follows. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.